Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your R4 card without a disk. And like most people, I bought an R4 card for my DS, and like most other people, it did not come with a setup disk. And uh, whenever you put your R4 card in your DS and you turn it on, oh yeah, and you're going to have to have a micro SD card too. It says, could not find DS menu dot dat. So, first thing you want to do is take out your micro SD card, which I got on eBay around uh, the holidays for like around three or four bucks, and it's a two gigabyte too. And uh, my R4 is only compatible with up to two gigs, so that's why I got two gigs. So just put your uh, micro SD card in there, and then when you do, this little window should pop up. Now, go to the first link in the description, download R4 setup. And then uh, extract it to your desktop after you download it. Okay, now that that's done, <clears throat> uh, you want to open the folder. And everything in this folder right here, copy it. Or, hot, or you can highlight it and drag and drop or right, uh, left click and copy and left click and paste. It don't matter, just get it into your uh, micro SD card. Okay, now after you did that, you're done. And uh, you can, I've already have a colors.nds, it's a homebrew game. Uh, it's basically basically like paint or something that I put on there for you guys. But um, I already put uh, Legend of Zelda on mine. Hell yeah, and by the way, this is the, that is the only uh, game I own for the Nintendo DS, and that's the only reason why I have one game on there because it is illegal to put uh, games on your R4 card that you do not own. I'm not going to stress that too much because I know tons of people do it. But enough about that. Once you're done, take it out, put in your uh, R4, put your R4 in your put your R4 in your DS, turn it on, and it should say loading, and then ta-da, you should see uh, this right here and. From left to right, these icons are Game, uh, Media, and then GBA for the GBA slot. Now, um, if you hit Select, and then, yeah, if you hit Select and press A, because it'll say Change the Menu Data or something like that, it'll actually change the uh, wallpapers and stuff on here. I guess you'd call them wallpapers. But uh, just go ahead and select game just to show you guys that it works. And then scroll down till you find. Hold on, I'm having trouble with the camera here. Okay, now uh, once you go to your games, go find your game that you put in there. Uh, accidentally select the color of all go, sorry. Um, now, uh, now that you see it, you can either touch the screen or press A. And once you press A, uh, it'll say uh, something about save, no save data, you want to continue, yes, create save data, blah, blah, blah. Let's just get to the game. And then it should load fairly quickly, depending on how big the game is, but usually it don't load over no more than two seconds. And then there you go, there's your R4. I mean, there's a game on your R4. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and if this has helped you in any way, please subscribe because I have other uh, stuff with the DS. Thank you guys for watching.